though there are a lot of hurdles from uh, from the regulatory areas and and from the land acquisition and all that but i feel uh, we are doing good right now uh, we have just recently also won the pla tranche 2 scheme for 2 gigawatt of course uh, the imposition of uh, basic custom duty has played a major role in uh, in curtailing the imports from china as on date at the same time china is also uh, have their own ways of uh, getting their uh, cells and models in india so uh, looking into that i think the pli scheme comes as a as a great relief so we are coming with the next gen technology uh, and uh, we are also going with the complete uh, backward integration from module to uh, cell to inco so in the process uh, and with the support of the government uh, i think uh, we would be very competitive in the market as on date and uh, global acceptance of indian models is also going up day by day so i think both the combinations we see ourselves uh, in a very good position uh, today's date uh, utility scale solar uh, power plants i think that's the, uh, that's a game changer and if you want to achieve uh, zero emission which is our uh, honorable prime minister's uh, vision then uh, utility scale, uh, scale uh, projects on the ground mount or on the rooftops is a major game changer and i think more of focus has to be put in for such projects yes of course there are few uh, components where we still have some dependency on india and hopefully in the next 5 to 6 years we see that to coming down uh, but as on date uh, we cannot Uh, do it independently. We'll have to be dependent on the other components uh, which are imported from other. Slowly, you see the future is brighter in India. Much brighter by the way the goals have been set to be zero emission by 2070. I feel uh, we are on the right path and we are on the right track. Ten years back, uh, we had very limited uh, modules with us. I think 270 watt peak was the module which was the highest efficient module which stayed for a very long time. from a 270 watt peak module in the almost in the same area to generate uh, a 540 or a 560 watt of power uh, i think technology shift is uh, has played a major role plus uh, different type of technology which has been brought in half cut cell mono m10 m12 that's 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 another game changer for us so there is a huge uh, change in the technology and which has also brought in a lot of a big amount of price advantage to the developers today